sophisticated combination of hardware and software designed to interact with humans. I thought that was the best paper airplane they saw made from a robot. We often think of robots as having a human-like appearance, but that specifically is what an android is. Robots are not defined by their shape. If we want robots to move out of factories into homes and schools and all those sorts of places, what's the best way for that to happen? In the UK, if you have a robot which is ultra-lifelike with human hair and eyebrows and that sort of thing, people tend to go, ooh, crikey, don't know if we like that. Whatever their appearance, the impact of robots on the workplace has been profound. We are doing things fundamentally differently to how they've been done in the past. Associate Professor of Machine Learning Michael Osborne has been assessing it. So we found that 35% of current UK employment is at high risk of being replaced by a robot or similar technology by the year 2030. Those in the transportation industry, so that would include truck drivers, uh, taxi drivers, um, processing of things like invoices and receipts. Um, robots are also being used for things as advanced as surgery these days. The pace of change has...